So I'm a recently graduated ANU Law Medical Science student. I guess throughout the course of my degree I really benefited from having the two pretty divergent and um, varied experiences and I guess skill sets. I think that's been enriching in both a thoroughly academic and intellectual manner but also very useful in a pragmatic day-to-day -day course where I can draw upon skills in both. I originally joined the RFS in 2018 after coming to Canberra and was looking for an opportunity to yes, do something, do some volunteer work that I thought was meaningful but also hands-on and I'd always been interested in the emergency services um, sector and what that culminated in was evidently me joining but then a year later the 2019-2020 bushfires um, for me what that meant was regular deployments to go firefight all over the country so just south of Queensland all the way to obviously our own fires in the Aurora Valley I, it, it certainly felt like the whole community was a part of it and that's definitely a sentiment conveyed both to myself personally through family and friends and work and my, um, the academic stuff here but also the broader community and the way that they all chipped in for our well-being and support. In terms of what it was actually meant to me to be there, I felt like a a part of a team, um, a part of almost a family where there was a definite sense of pride in what we were doing and the contribution we were making, although at times it felt like the task was bigger than the resources at hand quite often. Um, I don't think that that deterred any of us. I carry a lot of self-assurance that what we did in the period of time in 2019 2020 was good work and that we helped a lot of people. I was very lucky to be um, taught by a teacher that was also a beekeeper and one year I um, I think it, it, it intrigued me just on a superficial level and so I went along with him and did some beekeeping and eventually found that I really liked it and so most of my year um, year 11, year 12 projects were all very bee themed around the chemistry, the biology, the e ecology of bees and the surrounding apiculture products. Um, when I came to ANU I really hoped to continue that and there was an existing ANU Apiculture Society however unfortunately it had um, it gone into hiatus. And so we, together with a friend of mine, worked together to bring it back and I remember being very proud of the first three bee, hi bee hives that we'd situated, we managed to situate under the society and nowadays we're actually the, we've got more than 20 hives um, and we've gotten large enough that we're no longer a student society, we've been incorporated into the Research School of Biology as part of their research infrastructure and so we provide you know, apiculture research resources to any, anyone at the Research School of Biology who, who needs them and wants them. I personally have a philosophy that if, if something interests me and I have the capacity and the inclination to do it then that then I just, just do it and even if there isn't an immediate return on it oftentimes there will come that return. Um, for example beekeeping started as and still is a passion of mine but it, it's led me to having the pleasure of being awarded the New Colombo um, Plan Scholarship to study and research beekeeping internationally in, in different nations and that has brought me you know the opportunity to in, interact and liaise and the privilege of getting to know a lot of people that I wouldn't have otherwise known and similarly data science started as a frustration in how I current how 
I used to analyse data and has developed into something where now I'm doing a master's within it. And similarly, the emergency services, I'd never imagined that I'd be initiating or, or consulting for you know, organisations like the Bureau of Meteorology or Geoscience Australia, but here I am. And so just because the endpoint can't be seen doesn't mean that you know, that path's not worth tr trotting. I think another really unique and certainly important factor for me is the location that, I've, that I'm in. None of this would have been possible in, in Melbourne or, or Sydney, just by the virtue of Canberra being smaller, but still having all those resources and all those needs means that a multidisciplinary um, approach I think is inevitable in, in engaging with the community.